to uh, another episode. I'm on my way back to Lake Roland. Uh, I had some house chores, so I had to get that out of the way before I came back. But uh, I'm about to pull up and, uh, man, parking lot may be full. But hopefully um, I can uh, revisit getting that bass that I was trying to get my uh, hook into when I was out here the other day. So stay tuned. I'll be back. Uh, uh, I believe, but I can't tell yet. I think I have something on here. I think I have something on here. And I do. Take a press, take up the drag some. Yep. There we go. Wow, nice knife. What is it? Uh, large, large bass. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Here we are. Nice one, nice one. Yep, yeah, nice size. Huh? Um, blood worm. Nice size. Or good eating size, but of course, uh, they grow much bigger than this. First one down. But this isn't the big boy or big girl that I saw Thursday. So, back it'll go. <laughs> this fish looks like it's about two pounds, maybe three. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yep, yep, yep. That's a nice size. Yes, indeed. Finally got him. <laughs> Look at this nice bass here, folks. Right on the lip. I think that that's probably the same one that was playing with you. Nice bass. He would definitely, he or she would definitely be going home in my freezer today. Nice bass. Look at that mouth. Is that a sardine size? Uh, I think 11, 11 inches, I think is legal uh, for you to keep here in Maryland. Okay. I think, but it could be 12. That's, 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 that's a nice fish. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. So you can go right on back to your fry. Mm -hmm. And uh, become June 1st or whenever uh, bass season starts and I see you again. Probably go like two more inches. You, you, going, you going home, buddy. <laughs> nice fish. Back you go, buddy. I got a bite. He's taking my worm. Let's see. And 
You see the line going out. Got another bass. Nice one. Nice bass. Nice bass. Nice bass. Nice bass. Uh, not yet. <laughs> not till uh, June. I think June first. I think. Good eating here, folks. Nice size. That's a nice size again, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hook out. There you go. Hook is out. Nice bass. Very nice fish. That one probably got egg too. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. nice. Yes, I mean, your belly look fat. Yep. Mm -hmm. Back you go. So hopefully uh, June, you get on my rod. You going home, buddy? Bass. Uh, I was wheeling the worm in, and the bass hit it. I so I come out from uh, the shore and uh, it hit it. So right now, I oh, just saw another bass. About to set this hook. Yeah, see what we got. Nice. Okay, 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 okay. Another nice bass. And I saw another one uh, swimming by. Uh, when uh, nightfall is approaching, folks, best time to catch fish. Bass, uh, when it's hot, fish move in deeper water. When it warms, uh, they start to uh, approaching the shoreline to feed. So you fish from the shore and just fish close to the shore and you will have a lot of success um, for catching bass. And when you use a artificial bait or anything and you retrieve it close to the shoreline, it will move the fish to strike. It's in their nature, and this is what they do from sun up to sundown. So, nice sized bass. Very nice fish. Check out that mouth. Okay, buddy. Back you go. Uh, I literally only have a couple minutes left before I gotta get out of here. Carp. This is a big carp. I just saw a big carp. And I 
I got it. I got a big carp. I got a big carp. Nope. Whew. My heart was racing in my stomach. That was a good sign though. I thought I was a call about I thought I was about to have about to call for backup. Well, ladies and gentlemen, looks like This is about to be the end of this episode. And seeing that carp uh, helped me to see that the next time I come out here, this is where I'll have my rod set up. Very good sign to see. Big fish. Tell you, nothing beats fishing. I've got three minutes. And something hitting my line. See my and then just stopped. Well, that's it. I'm going to uh, let this worm go and get out of here. Fantastic. Glad I was able to see that fish. Because carp, you can keep. To my knowledge, you know, rules or whatever about carp. So, this uh, ends another episode of Fishing with Fidel. Thank you for watching and going along with me on this journey definitely had some action today very excited about it though it's uh, still catching release this time of year but uh next month we can i can keep them so thanks for watching i uh, hit that like and subscribe button uh, I'm, I'm trying to get 100 subscribers that's my goal i'm close to half at that halfway at this point uh, so I thank everyone who uh, has subscribed who views my channels who leaves comments I really appreciate it uh, all I can say is till next time keep it fishing I guess you can tell where I'm at <clears throat> don't you just love the aroma of a spider pot. <clears throat> I tell you folks, uh, it, it, was, it was a fantastic day for two and a half hours of pure excitement. And uh, 
my heart dropped when I saw that car. So I'm gonna be back out here. Um, not sure when, but I tell you, the cop was the uh, highlight of the day, seeing that big fish go through that water. So uh, I'm very excited about that. Gonna be coming back uh, next couple days or so. And uh, I know where I'm gonna be putting my fishing rod at for that cop. But um, good day today, two and a half hours and the bass were biting. Uh, even though they was had to release them, it was still good catching them. Hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, pass me on to other uh, other viewers. I'm trying to get 100 subscribers. I'm almost at the halfway mark. Appreciate the uh, everyone who views and uh, likes the channel, leaves comments. Uh, I need all I can get. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes. Until next time, keep it fishing. Mm. Mm.